The Point of Need Innovation Center was founded in 2022, and that's the year we moved to Baylor University and established a center that really focused on a, a circular economy approach to helping with things like logistic trail issues after natural disasters. How can we take what we have already available and turn those into new parts through things like recycling and upcycling these, these components and really helping our project sponsors to solve these needs they have at the point of use. So our center really focuses on sustained solutions for material problems that uh, include austere locations or um, hard to reach locations or locations where maybe power is a premium. And we look to find innovative solutions uh, to address supply chain logistic problems. One of the things about the Point of Need Innovation Center that I find uh, really valuable is the people that are involved in it. You, you have students and researchers from all these different backgrounds and they all bring their unique perspectives, their unique backgrounds and skill set to solve a solution that we need to go after. That could be in-space manufacturing, it could be a geographical place in the world, but wherever that point of need is, is where we actually try and tackle that and come up with a, a solution for that problem. The main goals at the Point of Need Innovation Center are really producing people, which are our product. And so that means we've got world-class scientists and engineers and researchers that are producing undergrad students working with us, graduate students, postdocs, and even visiting scientists, and really giving them a multidisciplinary skill set through these externally funded research projects with DOD, NASA, NSF, Department of Energy, and, and really training them where they're able to succeed, not just in the laboratory and at work after they graduate, but also really providing them with the servant leadership mindset. So they're really valuable leading members of their jobs when they go work, but also in their communities. At the Pony Center, we're a interdisciplinary team focusing on solving uh, sustainable material problems. So by nature, we are gonna have collaborators, not just in mechanical engineering or materials and metallurgy, but we're gonna have folks uh, across different engineering programs and other disciplines. And so that interdisciplinary nature allows us to actually solve these problems in new ways. So my students come from a completely different perspective than your traditional students who work on the equipment on the experimental side. But the integration of that is really where the, kind of the novelty and the great solutions basically become uncovered. The cutting edge research we're doing at the Point of Need Innovation Center is really focusing on combining computational and experimental paradigms really through a digitally driven materials and manufacturing approach. And so giving our students hands-on experience with, with the actual machines that we have on naval vessels, so we can minimize the logistics of having a lot of spares, but actually be able to print what we have locally available. And so these students are getting these experience working with our DOD, DOE, NASA collaborators, and really some of this work we're developing terrestrially that can even be transferred to non-terrestrial applications like manufacturing on the moon or Mars. One of the important research areas that we're excited about is aircraft repair. We're developing new repair techniques that involve solid state additive manufacturing, and that technology allows us to repair high strength aluminum alloys that are considered unweldable due to solidification cracking or element vaporization. There's huge benefits uh, in cost savings and also in sustainable material processing. Part of the Point of Need Innovation Center that we're, we're starting to establish here at Baylor University is the integration of advanced uh, visualization technologies where we can actually take these immersive visualization platforms and software and put data in there that our students and scientists and researchers generate and then use it in a immersive visualization platform to allow researchers to explore their materials in entirely new ways and then allow them to communicate that to other people in a way that we've never been able to look at them before. I mean, when you really start to think about it, the point of need innovation center is actually that. The point of need might not be actually a geographical location. It actually might be inside the data itself that we need to start to work and explore and study. We're solving some very complex, challenging problems. And that's really what makes us excited about how we can give back and, and really solve these challenging problems at the location of use where they're needed.